Hi, today I'm gonna show you how to how to create a an iPhone application with um, switching between two different views in Xcode version 4.5. So just create a new Xcode project and choose a single view application. For this tutorial, we're not gonna use the storyboard, so uncheck um, the use storyboard if it's if it's checked, and we'll call this one. Um, Two views, um, two views tutorial. Two views tutorials, okay. And then just devices will be iPhone, and just create the project. And here, since it's not a story, since we're not using storyboard, um, Xcode automatically generates a view controller zip file for us. So here we're gonna add a label. We'll call this label view one and add a add a button in here we'll call this button um, go to view two okay and just save this and make our connections for this we're not going to need to connect our label because the label is not going to change so we only need to connect the button the button is going to be an action and the name I'm going to call it go to view to button type is ID event touch up inside argument is sender and just save it and so we won't do anything yet in our implementation file and we're going to create a and we're going to need a new class for the second view so just go to file new and then choose new file and choose coco touch and choose objective c class and click next and for this class we're going to call this class view controller 2 and view controller 2 will be a subclass of ui view controller and make sure this um with with zip for user interface is checked so that it will create a zip file for our view controller 2 just click next and then create and here's our three different files the view control to header implementation and the zip file so we're gonna look at our zip file and we're gonna add an we're gonna add some elements to it let's get rid of the assistant editor for now we're gonna add a label we'll call this view 2 and we're gonna add a button we'll call this button um, pop back to view one okay and now we'll make our connection so bring out the assistant editor hide the utilities area um control drag the button onto well if this is let me show you if this is not um view controller 2 for now you have to change it here Go to automatic and then choose view controller 2.h and then this will bring it up then you can make your connections in your view controller .h. and this button is also going to be an action it's going to i'm going to call this pop button type is id event touch up inside argument sender so now we can now we can change the implementation file so i'm going to get rid of the assistant editor again to have more room to work with and just choose your view controller dot m the implementation file and this button is the go to view to button is what happens when is what gets called is the method that gets called when this button gets clicked so let's uh, first import our view controller to header file so in our view control implementation file we have two imports we have import view controller and import view controller 2.h and here we're going to create an instance of our view controller 2 i'm going to call it vc2 equals view controller 2 alloc init and here to make the call to make the screen go to the next the next view we're going to say self present view controller and we're gonna present vc2 animated yes completion nil and from there let's run it on our iphone simulator
and see if it does what it is supposed to do which is when you click that button it should present you the second view controller so click go to view controller and there's your view controller so for now the pop back to view one button doesn't do anything yet because we haven't we haven't changed anything in there so let's change that in our view controller to implementation file in our pop button we're just gonna say self uh, dismiss view controller animate it uh, yes completion nil and then that should dismiss the the second view that was that was popped up so let's run it again on our iPhone simulator and see if that works so here we have go to view 2 click it goes to view 2 pop back to view 1 we'll click it the second view goes away and that's the end of this tutorial and if you're wondering about about the background color you can always change it here in the the utilities area this is your um, view 1 check the attribute inspector oh have to select this first select this and check your attribute inspector and say the background is gray so if you want to change it to like red or something and for your view controller too let's say you want to change your background color to um, right now it's currently set on white if you want to change it to yellow you can do that just um, save it run it again on your iPhone simulator see there's your red background there's your yellow background so you can change the background here or in the code so that's the end of this tutorial and I'll see you next time bye